of them are asking how to speak good English. Just now you heard our speaker, Dr. Ramanachari, telling you about the importance of speaking. So instead of speaking about all the skills of communication, if you want to know all the skills, go to the earlier impact. Today I am going to concentrate only on one of the skills. We have four. L-S-R-W. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. I am concentrating today on skill number two and that is speaking. However well you speak, you must remember you can improve. However badly you can speak, you must remember you can become excellent. Because speaking is not for yourself but for the others. As long as they can understand you, as long as they can respond to you, that means you are speaking well. In June this year, I was speaking in St. Louis in USA. First, when I got on to speak, I told them, my English is not American English. My English is Indian English. The audience was American. They said, no problem, your English is clear. We have no problem understanding your English. So please don't worry about whether you are speaking British English or American English. Learn standard Indian English. We are unable to learn the standard Indian English. We are learning the local English which is not good enough. So how will you improve your speaking? When you are here for three days, are you speaking to each other? When you get lunch break, will you keep quiet or will you speak? You'll speak. Now which language will you speak in? Yeah, so today, tomorrow and day after, whenever a Telugu word comes from your mouth, stop yourself. Remember me. Don't forget me. And say, let us speak only English. Can you do it for three days? You know, I told some students in RGUKT that from today on campus, please don't speak anything except English. After a week, their teachers called up and said, Madam, there is only silence in the campus. Nobody is speaking because they have to speak English. Very sincere students. They listened to me, but they stopped speaking. Unless we practice, we cannot improve. I learnt English with difficulty. English is not my mother tongue. If I can learn, why can't you learn? You might learn better English than me. Don't you want to do that? Please tell me, yes or no? I want all of you to learn better English than me. A good student is always better than the teacher. So if you are a really good student, you must be better. So now my job is to tell you, some ways of practicing good English. That is what I am going to tell you. You have to start practicing from 28th. Up to 27th you are here. From 28th you need to practice. And then after 6 months or 1 year, we can meet and talk again. Or you can mail me by saying, I got a job because I learnt English. I get hundreds of jobs like this. They don't get in touch with me. Again and again I tell on impact that you practice for six months or practice for one year. Whatever I tell you, they practice. Then they send a message saying, Madam, I practiced. I got a good job. I feel so happy. Others write. They listen. They call up and say, Madam, please give suggestions. One hour I am giving you suggestions. There are so many impact programs he's uploaded. I must thank Gampa Nageshwar Rao Garu for uploading all those because people all over the world are benefiting by these lectures. Therefore, today's lecture is to give you ideas on improving speaking. Because I'm speaking to you, my speaking is improving, not yours. Now, when you start practicing, 
your speaking will improve because skill means that which can be learnt and that which can be forgotten also soft skills one of the skills are you know communication speaking is a very important skill so start first practice number 1 are you ready full concentration you can keep it in a soft copy or in a hard copy both very good that is the interest that impactians have you are the best nobody can be better than you when you get the best job that will be thanks to gampa nageshwar rao you don't have to give any other thanks except a good job a good life a good career now practice number 1 how to improve your speaking first you are the best comedy can be better than you. conversation means speaking to each other i gave you example of conversation already by telling you at lunch break sir please monitor whether they are speaking to each other at lunch break and whether they are speaking to each other in english if your friend tells you something in telugu please answer in english or please translate your friend's telugu sentence into english that will be wonderful learning just now sir told you when you go into the room they ask you what is your name in real life also many people ask you what is your name reply is given in 90% cases by saying myself srinivas madam myself revathi madam myself so and so this is first word you have uttered you have lost your job your life your personality everything zero there is no such sentence in english which gives the word myself with your name when you are introducing yourself please say i am so and so i am naresh i am rajiv these are what you have to say not myself is that clear after saying this hundreds of times i still have people coming and telling me myself so and so that is not correct you go into the interview room or you go into your you know boss's room to make presentation you say myself you are making a mistake so always say i you say my name is so and so my i am so and so may i introduce myself like that you can say but you need not say myself if you say myself it is terrible second question sir told us my job is so easy because he told many things he says what are you doing question might be asked answer is given 100% i think i can't even say 90% because as a professor i constantly go for interviews i am pursuing ma i am pursuing btech i am pursuing intermediate i am pursuing engineering the word pursue in english means to run after are you running after btech or ma pursuing can never be said for your qualification for your study for whatever you are doing any course of study you say i am studying if you want to say or you say i am doing i am doing btech i am doing engineering i am doing graduation i am studying ba i am studying bcom studying is correct doing is correct whoever taught you pursuing i don't know from where it comes you know language is very dynamic we learn from each other so everybody makes this mistake now tell me i told you two things in your conversation so today you can ask each other your names can you ask please in lunch break ask 20 people their names and ask them what they are doing now observe them are they answering correctly like i told you can you do that for today's exercise all of you nobody should keep silent you have to ask what is your name you can say hello what is your name 
that person will say, hello, I am so and so. Then you can also ask, what is your name? That person will say, I am so and so. If anybody says myself, you need to be the one to tell them, no, you cannot use myself. What are you doing? Some will say, I have completed my degree. Very good. Some others will say, I am doing. I can see my own student there. She is doing MA English in Arts College. She is here today. Now, program is going on in the university. You know, I went at 9 o'clock. I started. Although today is a holiday, we cannot cancel the program. So, I was telling him, give me 11 o'clock. He couldn't give me. Now, I have to rush back to various things. But for students, it's a holiday today. University is closed. So, I'm happy to see that she's attending. Now, she will go and explain to 30 students or 40 students in her class. Never say myself, never say pursuing. Each one of you, if you tell 100 people in the next five days, you tell 500 people in the next one month, you will find an entire generation will never again repeat myself or pursuing. What do you want to do? Question is asked to you. I'm telling you conversation. I want to do a job. Terrible English. You doing a job means a small task. You know, if I come to give you a lecture for one hour, I can say I'm doing a job because after one hour, finished. If I'm teaching in the university, every day I give lectures, I cannot say I'm doing a job. I have to say I am working in the university, not doing a job. Anybody who says I want to do a job in the corporate field, I want to do a job in a college, I want to do a job in an industry is making a mistake. So conversation, when we talk about conversation, these are the simple things that are there. I'll share with you my email. If you send me a mail, I will send you some conversational pieces. You can practice it. You know, I told you, in my mailbox there are 10,000 mail. So I must have sent it to 10,000 people. Can you give us some tips? Yes, please practice conversation.